Good morning, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. So far, Thursday is looking terrific. A lot less humid uh, weather headed our way for today. This morning, it still feels a little muggy, but definitely I can tell there's a slight difference from where we were yesterday, even last night, with that humidity level. The dew point at one point had gotten to 75. That's oppressively humid. This morning, uh, as of 7.30 this morning, dew point was 70 degrees. So about five degrees lower, that's telling us that drier air is coming in. And that will continue to slowly edge its way downward. It's gonna be a really nice day. A lot of sunshine, less humidity, and certainly you'll Notice that by the afternoon. Look for uh, afternoon readings in the mid 80s. So, definitely a summer like day in many ways, but not as oppressively hot and steamy as the past couple of days have been. Anyway, we're looking at, uh, you know, 80s today, and the weekend will feature even some 70s moving forward as uh, the really rich uh, tropical air mass, uh, the heavy humidity has moved out. And the thunderstorm chances, unfortunately they, unfortunately, they have moved out as well. We did have some storms in the area last night. We had a severe thunderstorm watch uh, for a big chunk of the area. That uh, was pretty quiet. Uh, most of the storms that were strong or severe were east of us. And before that was a big round of severe weather in uh, Wisconsin. A lot of tree damage and a lot of straight line winds with that all across the entire Badger State from the northwest to the southeast. But... Um, we kind of missed out on that. We missed out on the rain. We missed out on the severe weather. We're grateful for that, but we could use at least a good soaking shower or two. And we'll have to wait a bit longer before we see something like that. Today in the day planner, going from 70s to 84, north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, ushering that drier air. The dew point will drop into the low 60s by the day's end, slowly edging its way in that direction. 73 in Rochester, north winds at the 7 o'clock hour at 10 miles per hour. Air pressure is rising. I'm going to do point right at 70. 73 in Rochester, the current reading at the airport. Uh, Austin, 75. Charles City, 75. And Winona, 73. The storms have moved on to the south. There goes that cold front pushing southward. Behind it, we have high pressure coming in. Uh, unfortunately, we also do have an air quality alert that's coming back. It's rearing its ugly head again. We had that last week. The winds out of the north now ushering in that uh, smoky air from northwest Ontario and Manitoba. That air quality alert uh, extends through today. Most of tomorrow ends at 3 o'clock Friday afternoon. And so the entire area is in it. We're looking at the possibility of uh, some smoke at times. It causes, causes a little bit of extra haze, but also could be a problem for those with uh, compromised respiratory systems. The worst of it regionally, of course, north of us, but we're still getting the moderate level of that in place. Here's future track storms have moved out. We have tons of sunshine in store for us today. If you're going to Thursday's downtown, golden day for that. Uh, or the Olmsted County Fair. I'd say it's a, a terrific day to go to the fair. Uh, looking at the tomorrow, not a perfect day. Uh, we're going to have extra clouds coming in. We could use some rain. We're going to get a little bit, but not enough to really make a big difference, unfortunately. You know, some people are clamoring for a little more rain. We, uh, we could like to get, we'd like to get more. Uh, we're going to get some brief showers tomorrow, uh, mainly early afternoon, maybe early evening, uh, but the occasional sun in between. We'll have daytime highs tomorrow in the upper 70s to around 80, so a bit cooler there, and we'll be in that range for the weekend as well. 84 today in Rochester, Mesa City 86, Winona 85, winds out of the north 10 to 15 miles per hour, so a little less humidity in the air, uh, and certainly more of a comfortable setup, uh, again, for us overall compared to recent days. Tonight, partly cloudy, comfortable, light northeast breeze, 64, and tomorrow, a shower, a straight thunderstorm is possible uh, early in the afternoon, 79. The expected high southwest winds light around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, outlook for the weekend, we see an isolated storm or two again in the mid part of the day, Saturday into the early evening, and then it's occasional sunshine between those showers, 81 the high. Sunnier yet with less humidity in the area for Sunday and next week, still upper 70s for Monday. Like a taste of September there for a little while, kind of early to mid September. We get those almost summer light temperatures, but minus the really rich humidity or you know, you know, scorching heat. All right, outlook for the next several days. A lot of sunshine. Could see a thunderstorm. I should put that on the next Thursday. There's a chance of that. Better chance next Friday. That's a week away. But there will be additional chances toward the end of next week uh, as we look at uh, hopefully seeing some more rainfall. We have a seven-inch deficit uh, here in Rochester for the year. Although this month, we're right at even, right where we're supposed to be for rainfall, where we'd like to be, or what the climate average is. But before that, I mean, this month, leading up this month, we had such a deficit, we still have some ground to make up. And uh, right now, not much in the way of rainfall, just very sparse showers next couple of days. So I guess we're left to just leave, uh, being left with uh, decent sunshine and mild weather. I guess we'll make the most of what we have. Hopefully, we'll make the most of today. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you back here for TGIF Friday. It's like a terrific day and a good-looking weekend. So we have things to look forward to here. See you back here tomorrow.